G'day, it's Rob here. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to find the centre point on the end of a piece of large round stock. Um, at times you'll be in a situation where you have to uh, do the, uh, the centre point uh, by hand. You have to use a, a centre drill and a hand drill to, um, to put in uh, a position for your alive or dead centre because the stock is too long or and, and too big a diameter to be just left hanging off the chuck jaws so you're in a situation where you have to do it by hand and it's easy to do and this is how you do it basically you measure your stock which in this case is 60 mil you get some pointed dividers which are good and sharp you set them at half of that measurement which is 30 mil so that's your radius so in this case I've already centre punched this to show you, so that's your radius and you can see that's the centre point We're pretty damn close to it all the way around and you get some black black texture pen, I've already done it on this to show you texture pen in over the end get some chalk go over the black texture with the chalk and then you get a piece of uh, like those metal and that is going to locate your circumference for the dividers get your, get your dividers put them on the on the, the point where the metal and the um, and the edge of the round stop meet and then you bring them around and hold firmly and scribe an arc once you've scribed in one position you then, huh, a bit awkward doing it like this, trying to show you at the same time, but anyway, bring it in again and scribe through again. And you can see that those two scribe marks, where they cross, that's near as damn it, to dead centre. So then you just get your centre punch, put it where the, where the lines meet, And that's dead centre, you're good to go. So if I, once again as I said, if I put the, uh, the dividers in, you can see it is, it is centre or damn close to centre all the way around. So that's how you do it. Um, very easy. Also, when you do your centre drilling, um, make sure that you only ever drill down to the shoulder. Uh, in fact, you have to drill all the way to the shoulder. You don't go beyond the shoulder. You don't go less than the shoulder. And once you've done that, that gives you the correct 60 degree angle um, and length to fully support the live or dead centre. So there you go. That's how you do it for anybody that's a noob and hasn't uh, um, worked out how to do it. It's very easy. And uh, just be careful. And uh, yeah, piece of cake. Okay, see you next time. Cheers.